So her, her role in Zoe's Place is to kind of cultivate people that might want to fundraise for Zoe's Place um, and to develop an ongoing relationship with, with, with them. Uh, and one of the things that Jane identified was this strictly Christmas phenomenon um, and, and the, the ballroom dancing phenomenon really. And probably identified something that most people might have overlooked, just how much money an event like that could raise. And she's, she's worked hard along with the committee to bring it to the point where it's bringing in like, such an amazing amount of money every year. So it's just after after today that that five thousand and we've sort of got that now and I just want to push on and raise it much much more. So it's not it's not a case of stopping now, it's it's gliding through and and just carrying on until we can raise as much you know, up to the actual two nights as well. It's, it's an amazing amount of money, five grand, you know. It's twenty five pounds an hour 
to, to run the hospice, to pay for a nurse's salary, sorry, per hour. And if you think of raising five, five grand, that's why it's, I think it's about 200 hours of care for a child at the yeah. hospice. I think it's 40 hours of care per thousand pounds. So yeah, my maths might be wrong, but I think it's about 200 hours <laughs> of care that you'd, um, you'd pay for. And that's, that's just phenomenal. Think about all those families that will use those 200 hours of care. And it's, and that's hopefully you're proud of what you've done, yeah.